welcome to my segment of How Do I? This is a segment where we get to teach you how to make your life better. And how am I going to make your life better? I'm going to teach you how to get into drag makeup. It is a bit intense, so you kind of want to have your face prepped and moisturized before you even want to put makeup on. But I am going to show you how to go from this to this. So if you want to get this very dramatic look, just keep on watching to slay like me. Thank you. Fan of RuPaul's Drag Race or ever been to a drag show and were surprised at how these queens painted their faces? Well, Tariq here, also known as Bella Donna Capri, is an inspired drag queen who is also learning more and more about painting his face each day. And he's going to show us his steps on how to achieve this first lick. Now, I would like you to introduce you to our host, Stephen Kennedy. Here in drag, Bella Donna Capri will show you how to paint your face like a drag queen. Drag is mainly known as female. Impersonation. It is also a form of art and there are so many ways you can achieve that a drag look. There are many steps, styles of drag and you can turn it into any, any way you want. So the things you're going to need are alcohol, cotton swab, Elmer's glue, stick, powder, powder puff, primer and glitter primer, foundation and concealers, brushes and eyeshadows, lipstick, setting spray, brow pomade, lipstick and wig. The first thing Drake is going to show you is going to demonstrate is how to block your brows and set them with powder and also prime your skin. Let's take a look. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with alcohol and a cotton swab. And you want to basically wipe this on your brows because any oils from your face or any dirt that you have gotten in your eyebrows is gonna get it off because we're applying Elmer's glue onto our brows so we can block our brows out. So you really wanna get all in there with this and you can either fan it like me because I was listening to music and I was dancing or you can see how lazy you are and you can grab a blow dryer and you can use it on cool setting and dry it faster because we want to get this process done because drag makeup takes a long time so you always want to have your eyebrows prepped. So then we're going to take Elmer's and Disappearing Purple and you want to get that all over your brows. I mean all over. You want to get every crevice of hair because you want all the hairs to end up in a flat upward motion. So you just want to get it all in there. As you can see, my brow is coated. And then you're going to take your old spoolie brush. I use this specifically for my brows. I don't use it for anything else. You want to use that and put it in an upward motion because you want to get these hairs as flat as possible. Like super flat because you don't want them to stick out when you apply your eyeshadow. And then you're going to take a blow dryer on cool setting and then you want to basically use that to dry it you can just sit there and let it dry but it takes a lot of time because we are doing about six layers and then you're gonna take your glue and you want to brush it in the upwards motion just where you were sliding the hairs up you want to put the glue in the upward motion just like that and then we apply about four or five more layers because I have thick eyebrows and I have a lot of hair so you want to get that as flat as possible but as you can see I'm drying it again and then I'm going to do the four or five layers off camera powder and then show you how it is just like that so as you can see that one is applied with six layers of glue and now I'm using the powder to basically dry it you want to get a lot of powder and you want to press it really hard onto your brows because you want to get that as flat as possible the glue also makes it flat, but you pressing it down, it just makes it a lot flatter with that powder. As you can see, I'm banging on my hand, telling you to just press it down. You don't want to bang on your face because that is just kind of dumb. And you want to get that. And you want to take your powder brush, brush off any excess powder because you don't need it because you're going to be applying some primer next. And we're going to take our Maybelline primer and we're going to dot it on the spots everywhere except the brows and you want to get the neck I know my neck looks kind of crazy because I'm getting laser hair removal but you want to rub this in basically like lotion except where the powder is as you can see I got a little bit on the powder but you know we can fix that later so you want to rub this in like lotion you want to get the neck you 
basically want to get everywhere because primer is basically like a protection of your skin because we're going to be applying a lot of makeup. Our next step is going to be to apply the foundation and concealers. You want to do this to set a base and find uh, to set a base of the face and find your desired highlight and contour areas of your face. And then you set the paste with powder. Let's take a look. In these spots. So we're gonna take this black opal foundation and with your brows, you want to basically glide them in an upward motion the same way you brush the hairs up because you don't wanna basically rub that all over and then mess up the work you did with the glue. So you wanna get that and you wanna do it in upward motion. And I'm blocking the camera because who's a professional? Not me, but you get that whole alien unibrow look and it looks kind of crazy at first and you want to take your foundation and you want to just basically rub this all over like it's a crayon like you're taking a crayon on your skin and you are just drawing all over and you want to fill in all the spots you get the neck you got to get everywhere as you can see i'm just going all over filling in the spots get more of that neck you want to get everywhere down the neck because you know we want full coverage I know it looks a little light but it's gonna look better later and you want to get those ears because your ears are gonna look a different color and that nose you don't want someone to look up at you when you're performing and your nose is all crazy and then you just want to blend every burn everything all out like blend 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 with this real techniques brush like everywhere just you know be a little bit careful in the eye area with the brows because you don't want to mess it up but you just want to keep on um, blending and blending blending takes a long time as you can see i'm not giving the whole clip because it is just way too much we just want to keep blending get the neck always get the neck get the ears get the nose all of that you want to get everywhere and i take a lot of time on blending because i want to make sure that you don't really see any crazy spots and you get something like that and now we are going to highlight. You want to take this shade that is about four shades lighter and you want to apply it under your eyes and under your nose and your other eye. Basically you want to get all the places you want to bring out and highlight. And I usually do my under eyes, under my nose, my chin, and my forehead and my nose as a highlight because you kind of want to get a skinny nose. But as you can see I'm rubbing it all over. You want to cake it on and I know it looks crazy but it's going to look worse before it gets better, trust me. I mean, the finished look is like kind of decent, but still. And you even want to get your eyes because you want to apply the eyeshadow, you need a light base. And this is helping as a light base, even though we're going to apply another base over that later. As you can see, you look kind of crazy. You want to take a clean sponge and you want to blend this all out. I'm basically starting from the bottom to the top because I just blend that way. You just want to get under your nose like so. You just keep patting and patting. Blending is a lot but you kind of want it to look as seamless as possible. But as I was saying before, it only gets, it only looks worse before it gets better. So you want to blend under the eyes as so. And you want to get that forehead and those eyes. And you just want to keep on blending. Blend, 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 blend. And you'll get kind of that finished look as I got. So then you want to take that highlighter and you want to get a little pencil brush. And you want to coat it and you want to basically go down the nose. I am not the best at highlighting. As you can see, I have a little bit of a difficulty. But you basically want to go down the bridge of your nose as I'm doing and then you want to get the tip. I don't go all the way down. I kind of want to leave space to contour that to leave like a little pointy nose when you contour but you want to do just like so and it looks kind of crazy. <laughs> so now we take our contour shade. This is a very very dark shade because I'm a very dark skin person so you kind of want to go for like the darker shades in some of these brands. So you want to go down your cheek and down your chin and then you want to get your forehead. You want to go all over your forehead and basically it's like you're creating a three from your forehead to your cheeks to your chin in a way as you can see you'll see it when I'm highlighting but you want to do the same thing to your other side you want to get those chiseled cheeks and a chiseled jawline and then when you're blending you want to blend upwards 
when you're contouring the cheeks you do not want to go down because it's going to make your face look a bit wider and you want to have your face more chiseled so as you can see i'm blending more in upwards motion instead of going down and then when you see i'm going down the neck you want to blend in a downwards motion because you want to have your face kind of like be really skinny when you want to do drag i mean some people don't do it like that but that is my way of doing it so you as you can see i'm blending down like so and you want to go all around you want to get that chin and then you're going to go back up to the other side of your cheek and blend up just as i'm doing and then you just want to pat down on your forehead and it does look like i'm rubbing like chocolate on my face it looks crazy i know but it is going to look better when we apply this powder but you just want to keep on blending like it looks crazy and then you want to take that same little pencil brush with the contour shade and then you want to go down your nose again like I said I'm not the best at contouring my nose either so I'm trying to get away with this but you know we fill it in with powder later so you go around the places you highlighted like so with a darker shade and then you want to take your blending brush and you want to pinch it and then you want to just lightly 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 tap like I'm doing it's not gonna be the best but you know what we're all learning here and as you can see I'm trying to be as delicate as possible on my nose because it is the most crucial thing I believe as you can see it's looking a little bit better but you want to keep blending and you're gonna get something like this it looks crazy and then you want to get a lot of powder and I mean a lot you can see I'm shaking because I guess a lot of powder you take that powder puff you coat it with powder and then you just want to beat your face with that powder like I said it's starting to look a little crazy like this powder looks a little light as a translucent powder it's gonna look better once I brush it off but you just want to get everywhere that you applied makeup that neck that chin those ears the nose everywhere that you applied makeup as you can see I'm applying everywhere and then you look like that, like a crazy person. And you take that powder brush and you basically remove all the powder that you applied and it looks a little bit seamless like that. And as you can see... You our next step is to set your highlight areas with powder and this is also known as baking. This helps with eyeshadow, fallout, and also an airbrush on your highlighted areas. Let's take a look. Highlight areas, but that's because I'm going to bake, which is what I'm doing now. You take the powder and you just pack it under all the places you've highlighted with the concealer from before. You get the under eyes, under the nose, like so. You want to pack it. This is called baking. You want to keep it there. And you want to get the chin and then you want to get the forehead. And this is also leaving it so it can look seamless when you apply your powders later for the contour. And as you can see, I'm getting under the chin under the nose but you want to get the highlights everywhere basically and it's going to look crazy just like that and I'm going to do the brows off camera because I am not that good our next step will be to set the eye area with a very light concealer and to create any desired eyeshadow look you want you want to use a lighter concealer because you have to use have a better color payoff and when when using a light color, bright colors. Let's take a look. To the base for the eyeshadow. So I use my white concealer from Makeup Revolution and I apply it under the brow and I apply it onto the lid and I blend this out and I set it with powder and I did the other eye off camera and it looks just like that. So then you wanna take your purple shadow and you wanna create a crease and I just use just any space from my eye to create a crease just so I can apply the glitter later. So I am packing this purple shade on to my invented crease and I take this blending brush and I blend it out and you want to just keep on blending until you are satisfied because blending does take a long time and if you blend it as well as you want as I got this one and then you take your little pink shade and you want to pack that above the purple and you want to take a brush and you want to blend this out it's a lot of packing and then blending with this eye as you can see, I'm blending out the pink and then I'm taking this orange shade and I'm packing it over the pink shade 
and I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to blend that one out as well and then the next shade is going to be a very bright yellow shade and you're going to you guessed it pack that above and you're going to blend that all out this is a little bit of kind of a sunset look with a purple eye i feel like this is the easiest because i am again learning more and more by day by makeup but this is basically how the eye is supposed to look and then i apply a dark purple shadow under just to give that eye some definition then i grab that glitter primer apply it on the place that i did not apply any eyeshadow and then I use this glitter this is very cheap glitter I do not suggest even given this name of the brand because it is kind of bad and I look kind of annoyed but but I finish the other off camera and then I fill in the brows with a black eyeshadow to give it that definition and then I'm going to take my powder brush and I'm going to basically brush off all the bake from the powder before and it's going to give that little cakey kind of seamless look it doesn't look too crazy as I did before as you can see I'm just brushing off all the extra big powder and it's getting rid of the fallout as well I'm doing the forehead the nose basically everywhere like I said before where it was highlighted and our final step will be the finishing touches this involves powdering your contour areas applying eyelashes lipstick and putting on your leg let's take a look to take a dark purple and a black and you basically define the contours to give the face some definition as you can see the face is getting a little a little bit more definition from before and I know it's crazy that I'm using black but it is a lot easier because of my skin tone but as you can see the face is getting the definitions that it needs I got the forehead the cheeks the chin and then you want to take that loose powder and then you want to give put it under the cheeks to give that chiseled look just like so and then i do my brows and my lips off camera like that because i'm not a professional and i don't want to give advice where i know i could probably mess someone up <laughs> and then i take off the excess powder and as you can see my cheeks do look a little bit more chiseled and more defined like that and then that is the finished look and then you want to take your setting powder and then you want to just douse your face in that it's just gonna give that a nice set to it and then we're gonna take our old raggedy 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 unstyled wig put it on her head and look a mess like this and <laughs> this is the finished look I wish I could go back in time and maybe brush that wig out a little bit more but I really hope you learned something does this look look good? I mean, it looks better without the wig in my opinion, but I really hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Host, take it away. And there you have it. I would like to thank Tariq Jones for teaching us how to do that very fierce drag look. Thank you and have a great day. This has been an NCC TV film production. I'm your announcer, Tyree Zell, and that was your host, Stephen Kennedy. We would like to thank you for watching this segment of How Do I?